your iOS home screen can be full of apps, widgets, and shortcuts, which can make it harder to locate the useful apps you need. In this video, I'll walk you through eight easy tips to declutter your home screen on your iPhone. This can also be done on your iPad following the same directions. By spending just a few minutes organizing your screen, you'll be able to stay focused and accomplish more in less time. You don't have to follow all the tips, just the ones that make sense to you. If we haven't met, I'm Ellen from Ellen's Tips for iOS, where I help seniors master their iPhones and iPads. If you find the video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Let's get started. Start your decluttering by freeing up local storage by deleting apps you no longer use. You can always re-download them from the App Store. So I'm on my home screen that you can see here, and if I want to delete an app, I just push and hold on the app until the pop-up appears, and I can choose Remove App. Once that occurs, I can tap Delete App, and it's going to ask me, it's going to say, Delete Ascension, deleting this app will also delete all of its data. If I don't want to do that, I can tap on cancel, come back and push on that app again, select remove app, and say I don't want to delete any data, I can just remove it from my home screen. And when I do, it will be added back to the app library and I can swipe to the left of the screen, go through my pages, and get back to the app library where I'll find the app that I just removed. Our goal is to keep your iPhone tidy, so it's a good idea to keep only the most essential apps on your first home screen page. So as you can see, I have very few apps located on my first home screen page. I can drag apps to other pages if I want to, or Using the technique I previ previously showed you, you can remove the apps or delete the apps. But if you want to locate an app, you can just pull down on the home screen, type into the search bar the app that you want to see. So I'll just type in Safari. It'll pop up and I can tap on it to enter. My other option is I could swipe through my pages to get to the app library, tap where it says app library, and then search for the app there. So those are easy ways to locate your apps without cluttering up your home screen. If you've deleted all of the unimportant apps, but still have several home screen pages, so I just added a couple of home screen pages so that you could see what multiple pages look like. If you want to remove any home screen pages and not remove those apps, it's easy to do. If I push and hold on an empty area of the home screen and tap on these little dots down at the bottom, these are your home screen pages. I can tap on those, come into the home screen pages, and then if I uncheck, those pages, tap on done, and then you'll see that now I just have one page. I'll just have one home screen page with just my important apps, but you can access the hidden screens anytime you want by pushing and holding, tapping on the little circles at the bottom, and checking any of the screens that you want to have access to, tap on done, and now that screen will be available to you. Some users prefer a home screen with no apps at all. They place their four most important apps like what I have in mind, messages, phone, mail, and calendar into the dock, and this setup looks clean and allows for a full-size wallpaper without any obstructions. You can create folders to organize your apps into categories. For example, 
you could group all of your banking and credit card apps into a folder called banking or shopping. To create a folder, you're going to drag one app icon over another, and a folder will be created with a name chosen by Apple, which we can change. So let me show you how to do that. I'm going to push and hold on the uh, empty area of the screen until the apps start to jiggle. I'll just grab one of the uh, app icons and drag it over another, and it creates a folder. I'll drag the other app icon and drop it in, and then I'll drag the last icon. So now you can see that we have a folder created called Finance. I can tap Done, and when I tap on that, that folder opens, and my credit card and shopping apps are located in this folder. If I want to change the name, I just push and hold on the folder and it says rename. I'll tap on that. I'll erase finance and I'll just put in banking. And now I have all and I'll tap done. Tap anywhere outside of the uh, folder. Tap done in the upper right corner. And now I have a folder with all of my banking and credit cards called banking. If your home screen is filled with widgets, you can stack them to save space. You'll drag one widget over another of the same size to create a widget stack, and then you'll be able to swipe vertically on the stack to cycle through them. So if I push and hold on any of the three widgets that I have here, and notice they're the same size, I can drag them on top of each other, and then I can move uh, the widget anywhere I want. So I'm just going to leave it right there, and I'm going to tap on Done. You'll notice that next to the widget, let me come back out of there again, there's three dots, and you don't always see them, but they appear right here next to the widget. I think if I push and hold so you can see edit, it's a little bit easier to see them. But there's three dots next to the widget. To cycle through them, I'll tap on Done, and you're going to swipe vertically. And I have three widgets, and as you can see, I'm able to cycle through each of the widgets in the stack and when I get to the widget that I want, I can tap on it to open. You can also place large and small widgets in the Today view. It's a dedicated widget area accessible by swiping right if you're on your first home screen. If I swipe right, I come into the Today view, which is a dedicated widget area. I can also access this from the lock screen. So if I swipe up down from the top of my page in the middle to come into the lock screen, if I swipe to the right, this will also bring me back into the Today view. In iOS 18, you can hide app and widget labels for a cleaner look. Touch and hold anywhere on your home screen, and then tap Edit in the upper left corner. Now tap Customize. If I choose Large, you'll see that the icons become larger and the labels have been removed. So if you like that look, go ahead and change your uh, app icons to Large. Otherwise, tap on Small and you'll be back to the smaller icons with labels. If you've taken the time to create a clean home screen, you don't want new apps cluttering it again. By default, new apps are added to the home screen, but you can change that. What we're going to do is we're going to open up the Settings app. We're going to tap on Home Screen and App Library. And you'll see that I've placed a check mark next to App Library only. So going forward, all of the new apps that I download will go directly to the App Library 
instead of appearing on the home screen. And usually, if I've done that, you'll see in the app library, it says recently added apps. And this is where you're likely to find the new apps once you've downloaded them. Decluttering your iPhone's home screen doesn't have to be overwhelming. With just a few simple changes, you can create a cleaner, calmer experience that makes it easier to find the apps and tools you use most. Remember, you don't need to use every tip. Just pick the ones that make sense for you. And don't worry, you can always adjust things later. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.